Want more FPS easily in Armory Forger? Here's how. I won't be going through all of the graphics settings in this video, as there's only a few that really tank performance. If you want to see a video going through all the graphics settings and their visual effects, click here and I'll put a link in the description too. We're going to start with what I think is the number one option to lower the game frames. This is the setting I immediately direct anyone that's struggling with FPS, and this is environment quality. What this changes is the resolution on clouds, and it's literally only noticeable when the weather is scattered clouds. When I made the video going through all of the graphic settings, I didn't even know what this setting did as I only tested with clear skies and with heavy clouds and rain, both of which the setting makes no difference. But as you can see, it absolutely tanks the frame rate for very little difference. Many people don't realize how easily they can get what feels like free FPS just by lowering the setting. Next up, we have anti-aliasing. Now, it's not really explained in the settings, but you have two options, post-processing anti-aliasing and hardware anti-aliasing. When you enable hardware, it disregards the post-processing setting. My recommendation is to use the post-processing, either FXAA or SMAA, it's your choice. I personally prefer the SMAA, as FXAA can seem a little blurry in the distance. The way to use post-processing is to turn hardware anti-aliasing to none. As you can see, the performance difference between post-processing and even the 2x option of hardware AA is a big difference in FPS. I will say though that the hardware anti-aliasing is much better at giving a better image and removing aliasing, especially with the foliage smoothing enabled. But in my opinion, the FPS cost is just a bit big for me. Those two settings are the major options I would recommend to turn down. But another one I would throw in, as I also see it as a free FPS game, is the depth of field blur. This works with two different options in the settings. Nearby depth of field, and then further down the list under post-processing, we have depth of field quality. This essentially gives you a blur on the rear sight of your weapon, and in my opinion, it looks worse than with it turned off. And the beauty of that is, it costs a few frames to even have the blur on, so I recommend turning this one off too. Finally, if you're somebody that has a weaker graphics card compared to the rest of your system, you could benefit from using FSR. To enable FSR, you have to enable this setting called Fidelity FX Super Resolution, and then above this setting is Render Scale. Now when you lower this below 100%, it will upscale the image to try and make up for it a little bit. It's not the greatest as it's an early version of FSR, but lowering to 90 to 95% won't be very noticeable visually and it'll net you a few frames. But those settings are my biggest recommendation for lowering for a big FPS boost while still having a great looking game. I hope this helps and if it did, please let me know in the comments below.